Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's your, it's me again, uh, Damien Simon Peter. Uh, I must say, and I must really say this, that I'm really, really, really sorry for not, uh, you know, following up on this tutorial quickly. Um, I was involved in a whole lot of things. Uh, I don't want to go into details and explaining what those things are, but I'm, I must say, I'm really sorry for not making, uh, you know, a follow-up tutorial on, you know backbone and all of that i'm gonna do my best to come up with tutorials as often as i can uh i would say in about a week or so or faster but i, I would ensure that i keep uh, you know you guys up to date uh please let me know what you think about in the comments in the below but uh but but anyways uh let's forget about that and move on to backbone collections uh so today we'll be talking about backbone collections an interesting topic as well for me. Uh, so as usual, we'll be starting with something very simple. Uh, so everything you have here is just uh, pretty much simple HTML I crafted out from Foundation CSS. And so let's just get started. So uh, if you've been following the first tutorial, then this should be very, very, very um, um, based upon the previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we talked about um, backbone just the basic not really going into detail and in this uh very 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 current uh tutorial we're also going to talk about backbone collections at collection view we're also not going to go down to into we're not going to go too much uh i mean we're not going to we're, we're not going to what am i saying oh god we're not going to go into details uh to that extent but we're going to get a lot done so let's get started uh, so yeah, basically there's nothing much here. It's just uh, simple HTML and CSS and then you know just simple styling and all of that and uh, So cool But the most important thing is having uh, you know your backbone You could you could load this from a CDN you underscore your jQuery and your backbone you could lo load this from a C um, CDN. Uh, the reason you, you, you may be seeing some of this here, it's based on the previous project I did. So I just wanted to use the same templates to, you know, it makes it very easy for me to uh, to teach. So there is no syntactic sugar added yet, just uh, something really simple. So let's get started and start coding. So uh, script tag here. So the first thing we want to do here is uh, quickly do a recap. So basically, you know, to create uh, a model in Backbone, you want to say, so let, I'm going to use, I'm not going to use to do this time. I'm going to use tax. So tax equals backbone dot uh, model uh, dot extend, right? And that's cool. And w once you do this, you have a tax model. So this works well, right? You paste on the console to see when you say tax. You say new tax, it works well, right? Great. So, but, but let's start over. So, the first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to say default tax, and I'm going to set it equals to an array. We're talking about backbone collections, and a, and, and a collection is, um, is what it is a collection of backbone models. Yeah, that's what a backbone collection is a collection of backbone models, and you could do stuff with them. You could do crazy stuff with them. Everything Backbone allows you to do to a collection, you could do. So, so this is gonna be just uh, an array having this uh, so title. I'm gonna use my very much good dinner. I don't know why I like using that. So Dawn is gonna be false. Uh, I'm gonna have in the title uh, go swimming, and I'm gonna set Dawn to true, and. Title is going to be call grandma, and I'm going to set down to false. And let's just have one more. Title is going to be um, uh, come on, give me something. Oh shit, I can't even remember. Okay, so write a book. Okay, then you say down false. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be a very simple uh, memory representation of uh, 
my memory presentation of uh, what we uh, of what we want to use to render the collections. So let's see what we'll get to do next. So the next thing I want to do is create a. The next thing we want to do. So this is really going to be simple. So it's just uh, a simple array with a collection of objects. So you just have several objects with the same, um, you know, structure. So they have the same property, but different value of course. For title, cook dinner, dawn, false, title, this, and all of that. And uh, next thing we want to do is so just this is just going to be what we use for our collections. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, tax, and I'm going to make that tax extend the backbone model. And I'm gonna set defaults for this tax here. So default is like, hey, yeah, this is a default value for the tax. So title, I'm just gonna set it to Lorem. It might be some as usual. Uh, Don gonna be false. And uh, cool. So this is the default for this tax, right? So when you create an instance of these, so let's see how this works. So because uh, we'll call with the browser here. So everything would be cool. So if I say new tax here, let's assign this to a variable called my tax equals this. If I say my tax to the attributes, it returns all the uh, you know attribute here. So where did it get the title from and the DOM property from? It's because we set the defaults, and it's cool. If you want to override that when creating the new tax, you could decide that you want the titles to be something else. Uh, kill a rabbit. Probably you want to kill a rabbit if that's a uh, tax for you. I can set down to true and when you do my tax and attributes, kill a rabbit down to true. That's simple, right? So we we'll set it default. So the next thing you want to do here is you create a view. So the view would be the HTML representation of your model. So let's say tax view. Which is gonna extend backbone view, and yep. And when defining the view, you could decide what tag you want it to be. And from the previous tutorial, we said the uh, parent, uh, um, you know, HTML elements where your model gets wrapped around is the uh, the li elements. But but currently, would have to override these using the tag name property. Now the next thing you want to do here is so set this and one thing I like doing really is setting my initialize method. So initialize and then say function. So this is like our constructor. So I like to call my render here. Uh, I always do this here. So uh, the next thing you want to do is define your render function. And then and since we already know about templating, so we could just go easily and just say templates and use the underscore template and then define what we want here. So basically, we're going to say this uh, element dot or HTML, then this template ideally, then this model dot attributes. So ideally, what we're trying to do here is we need to also specify the model here. Uh, so I could say the model is a tax model here and once this is done we could easily get the attribute directly from the object passed in and then have it rendered uh, using on this call templating here so the next thing you want to do here is you already have a tax view which is uh, an HTML representation of your model so cool right yeah so basically you're saying i want to render the attribute directly here but 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 this attribute gets to be passed into this uh template so we could just call uh the value since we already know what the property is we could just see title and we could try this out from the console uh, let's go ahead and try this out and see so we've given this a model we've, uh, we've specified the underscore template and we'll define our own uh, render function. So let's see how this works. Uh, let's reload this. And uh, I'm going to create a new instance of 
So we already have uh, a text which defaults to something. So I'm going to say new text. So, oh, sorry, new. That's supposed to be new. So let's reload this. I text equals to new text. So I don't need to set anything it's because it's a default value. So if I do it to JSON, I should have something. Cool. So now one thing you want to do is create a view which is basically an HTML representation of your model and then we could just pass in the model here and cool so basically I just passed in the model because when creating your view and you extend the backbone class you would want to uh, dictate what model would be used uh, for this view and so that's why I had to pass in uh, this model which we created here and now because I've called render I don't need to call render anymore I could just do this and you can see the default um, lower MIP sum is rendered within the um, li um, HTML element so that's pretty simple you just create uh, a tax and you just a tax model and you just create a tax view and that's simple now how about collections like I said collections are just what they are the collections of of backbone models and they're pretty simple as well so to create a collection so let's say tax collection it will be requested out but you extend the backbone collection class as well so backbone collection that extend cool and when doing these you dictate what uh, model you want these uh, collections be based upon so I could just say model here yeah, the model is gonna be the tax model and that's all Pretty simple. You could do other things. You could do listen for events and all of that, but we're not going to take it. Uh, we're going to take it one step at a time, and that's pretty much all. Now, the next thing you want to do is let's create an instance of our collection. So I'm going to say uh, tax collection here, and so it's going to be new tax collection ideally. So you can now pass in a model. So model would be so let's let's make things simple. So I'm gonna create. Uh, so you could pass in the model here. So let's create uh, tax, not necessarily, but tax equals. So the point here, it's really tricky. So you can decide if you want to pass in the model if you do want to pass in the model, but in this case, I'm not gonna pass in the model. I'm just going to instantiate it, and when that is done, I'm going to use the uh, uh, the backbone reset method to populate this uh, collection. So let's see how that works. Uh, so I'm going to say tax collection dot reset. Now the reset accepts an array, so basically I could just pass in the default tax, and I'm going to reload this. Uh, it's not a function. So let's see backbone dot collection dot extend. Sorry about that. Extend. So let's see what we have as tax collection dot length. So you can see I did not pass in any model. Basically, by using the reset uh, method and passing in a a series of uh, you know objects an array of objects, it populates the uh, you know the collection that we've created and basically all we can now easily do is say tax collection that if you, if you say to JSON you get uh, you know all the objects as a JavaScript object here down false cook this that that and this this so so basically the reset would populate this collection with all of these uh, you know um, value here. Ideally this would come from a database, an API call and all of that. Uh, so when you use the backbone fetch method, we'll talk about that in subsequent videos. But I just want to keep things simple. So so just assume that this is from a database as well. So basically we we have we'll have our um, collection populated with you know say default text. Now how do we create a view out of this backbone collection you have a series of models so how do you create a view how do you create a view uh, so I'm gonna take this off 
Okay, let's leave this. So, you know very well that we could easily create a tax view simply by saying, uh, so to create an instance of our tax. So we can say my tax equals the new tax. You could decide what the title is, right? If you want to, you could say title killer rabbit done. If you kill the rabbit, if you've killed the rabbit, set yours to true. If you've not killed the rabbit, do not set it to true. I'm serious about this. Anyway, I'm just kidding. Uh, my tax. So that's an instance of a tax class. Now the next thing you want to do here is you have my tax. So anytime you call this on the console, you could get your attributes on yeah, kill the rabbit. Done. True. You know you've killed the rabbit. Great. Woo! That's nice. So let's create a view out of this and let's see how that works. So the greater view, so my tax view, I think I like this naming convention. So the new tax view, correct. So you're passing the model, my tax, correct. And based on how we'll define things to work, I like the loading to see the errors on the console. I could just say my tax uh, view. So basically, we we can just console here. I just want to see what we get log in the console. The log my tax view the el to see what it creates uh, the HTML element. And I'll just kill the rabbit. Cool. Let's try appending it here and see how that works. So basically, we could just use jQuery. Uh, this this is called text. So do, but I'm going to change it back to text just to be in sync. Uh, so I'm going to call that um, tax, right? Dot append this. And let's see. Kill a rabbit. Cool. Kill a rabbit. Let's try appending again and see what happens. So back then the smart. Remember what I did uh, the first uh, tutorial. So it doesn't work, right? Well, now we have a collection and how I might we render several collections you know you want to render one collection so your, your, your collection is uh, what it is a collection of backbone models so how do you render this on, on the view it's pretty simple it's really pretty simple